So here's a blog post that someone asked me to review. So we have this uh, headline up here, which I, I like. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, strictly speaking, I would punctuate that a little differently. Um, all right. I don't know if you've noticed, but nothing ever works out exactly the way you want it to. Sometimes things come up in the software development lifecycle that are completely unexpected. These things usually cause delays and generally make your client angry. After all, they're footing the bill and rightfully expect results. So how do you handle it when you or one of your teammates has to let mission control know that the air filter isn't working? Okay, there's some really nice things. Could use some tightening. There's some really nice things about the way this is set up. Uh, it's it's parsed correctly, so it's very punchy, which is which is great. So he's got these answers down here and a little bit about them. Um, the other thing is I, I really like the um, it's sort of you know hitting a button right here. Coming back to this Houston, we have a problem. Having said all that, uh, I think we can we can tighten it up, and and there's some things that could be looked at to uh, to make this work a little faster. So I don't know if you've noticed, but nothing ever works out exactly the way you want it to. Um, I might do this. Nothing ever works out exactly the way. And maybe we can, maybe we could even be a little more inclusive the way we want it to. Sometimes things come up in the software development lifecycle that are completely unexpected. So if I was to look at this, what are we really trying to say here? Sometimes come up in the software development life cycle. Nothing ever works out exactly the way we want it to. The subject of this sentence is the software development life cycle. The software development, or really software development. We could, we could just say it's software development. Software development can is no exception. There are delays. There are unexpected delays. So uh, these these words that end in ly, these these adverbs that end in ly, they they can almost all go. Uh, there are there are unexpected delays this rightfully can go after all they're footing the bill and expect results so how do I think it's how can is slightly better, but you know, e either way is fine. How do you handle it when you or one of your teammates... Is this one word? I don't know. Spell check likes it. Has to let mission control that the air filter isn't working. Communicate. I can't stress enough the necessity of clear communication between you and your client. This is the first order of business. No problem is solved in a vacuum. I think I might do this. Let's just move this down here and see what happens. No problem is solved in a vacuum. And try to hide it or solve it on your own without... I might, for emphasis, make this trying to hide a problem. Solve it on your own, without client in it. <laughs> it's a pathway to a dark, dark place where there is no light, only pain. I love that. Um, I think explain the problem as best you can as soon as it's identified. This keeps your client informed and you looking in charge and proactive. Um, you know, I might, I might do this. Because there's an idea in here that you can do in here. Uh, can't stress enough the necessary of clear communication. Clear communication is the most important thing. I 
I'm lucky I work with some really smart people who have a lot have a lot of experience. If I get stuck or need help, I reach out to the folks around me, see if they've solved a similar problem, or can provide advice or a new way of looking at it. Even an extra set of eyes. Um, this is this is great. Uh, I, I just might do this. Uh, even an extra set of eyes. An extra set of eyes on Google can save you hours of teeth. Nash. I'm not really sure why I want to do that. I'm just messing around here. Propose alternatives. Sometimes there are obstacles that cannot be met head on. You have to go around them. Whether it's replacing a technology you've selected or finding a way to proxy calls to, I think we're, we need to make and then make proxy calls to that web service so your reports are rendered in a timely manner. There are always alternatives to the approach you originally decided on. Don't be afraid to explore them. Okay, all these double spaces in here, um, word processors take care of that kerning, so you don't really need the double spaces. Uh, there will always be alternatives to the, to the approach you originally decided on. I, I think uh, to your original approach. Don't be afraid to uh, to explore. I think alternatives is better. It's not that strictly speaking that that them was not correct. It's that uh, when someone's reading fast, like as this is a blog post, if you can if you can be very careful with the pronouns. It makes it easier to read because people read so fast and pay so little attention on the screen. An informed client presented with clear choices. That's it. Don't be afraid to explore alternatives if the need arises. Sometimes, sometimes things go wrong. Having a clear plan and keeping your head together. Make sure you make it home. Uh, this needs some help. So we have some options. Having a clear plan and keeping I think we need to, the summary needs a little help here. So I think um, uh, something like uh, Clear communication. Seeking help. Um, developing alternatives and keeping your head together. And keeping your head together. We'll ensure that uh, turn in to disasters. And I, I just kind of want to do this. It's like, you know, things go wrong. There's, there's a there's a phrase here and I don't know what it is, but there's a there's a really big phrase. So if you if the biggest subject subject uh, you know for this idea is that, you know, the world isn't is an imperfect place, um, you want to just sort of evoke that somehow. It's it's kinda like th this statement up here, nothing ever works out exactly the way we want it to. It's really this sort of parable like statement and it's a great way to start off, because it's just true and everybody has that experience. So we want to echo this here. This is fine. Um, I might put some levity in here. Um, <laughs> it's in a perfect world, sir. Screws fall out all the time. You know, it's kind of that thought from the, uh, the Breakfast Club. It's in a perfect world, sir. Screws fall out all the time. As we uh, 
And then we get conjunction, but... Clear communication, seeking help, developing alternatives, most of all keeping your head together is the way to make sure problems don't turn into disasters. That's what I do. I also need to say that the first draft was, the, this draft here was quite good. Um, it, you know, as fine as is, there's always you know ways to make things better, and those are some of them. <laughs>